This is the Prosperity One, an eVTOL turning heads in the crowded air taxi space. Chinese-based Autoflight recently released its first full-length test video of its proof-of-concept air taxi. Speaking strictly from a visual standpoint, this is up there with some of the most compelling air taxi footage we've seen. The video lasts about eight minutes, and there's no music, so you can really hear the sound of the vehicle. You see the Prosperity rise vertically and transition to forward flight. According to the readouts on the screen, the vehicle hits speeds over 110 miles per hour. We see some banking, then the transition back to vertical lift before landing. This is actually Autoflight's second proof of concept vehicle. Autoflight revealed the first back in January. The company says it upgraded the propellers on this latest design for increased hover efficiency. They've also gone from two rear pushing propellers on the older design to a single centered rear propeller that Autoflight says enhances cruising abilities. Autoflight says it expects the final proof of concept design later this year. To find out more about where the vehicle stands right now and its future, I talked with Autoflight's managing director, Mark Henning. We are currently finalizing the concept phase to understand how big is the aircraft, what is the exact configuration of the aircraft, so what, how, the size of the wing, um, the placing of the, of the lifting rotors, the, the dimensioning of the lifting rotors, the dimensioning of the motors, and doing all that work. Henning told me Autoflight has completed more than 200 test flights. So let's talk more about the design. The Prosperity One is designed to be what's known as a lift and cruise eVTOL. That means during takeoff and landing, it relies on rotors that provide lift. But during flight, it operates as a fixed wing aircraft. That's different than competitors such as Archer and Joby, whose eVTOLs rely on rotating propellers that provide both vertical and horizontal thrust. Autoflight has decided um, to go for this lift and cruise element, which is simplistic. And because of its simplistic, it's, it's easy to develop, it's less risky to certify, um, and it's um, much more uh, cost-effective to produce and to operate, because you have no gearboxes, you have no turning parts, you have no mechanical, mechanical, complex mechanical components. Prosperity One holds four people, that includes a pilot. Henning told me they expect the range on the final design to be somewhere between 100 and 200 kilometers, and they expect a cruising speed of around 111 miles per hour. That matches what we saw on screen earlier. So, what will it actually be like to be a passenger? I don't know if you flew, had the, had the chance to fly in small helicopters, but they are now rattling and, and shaking and, and, and noisy. And yes, it is, it is fun, but it's not what you want to have in, in, your daily, in your daily usage for that. So it has to be comfortable. Now, it's hard to get a real sense of just how loud or quiet this vehicle is from a video recording. But like a lot of other EV tolls we've heard, it does at least seem like it's quieter than a helicopter. And that, of course, is key for viability of any EV toll. The idea for air taxis is generally to relieve some of the congestion in major metropolitan areas. But nobody wants a swarm of noisy helicopters flying over their neighborhood on a daily basis. So what's next for Autoflight? They'll continue modifying their proof of concept vehicles for the next few years. They expect to have the final design by 2024 and get it in front of European regulators by 2025 for certification. Once the vehicle is certified in Europe, Autoflight says it plans to bring it to other markets, including the US and China. So what do you think of Autoflight and its Prosperity One EV tool? How does it compare to the likes of Joby and Archer? Let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click here to see my video on Joby, and subscribe to CNET for more like it.